Good afternoon. It's lunchtime. Salmon rice. Going to see the Easter Bunny now. Brooke, do you think you're gonna cry? No. No, okay. I don't think she's gonna cry, but I think she'll be really hesitant at first. What do you think? Um, yeah, I don't know. Off to the Easter Bunny. Alright, we're here. That guy has a motorcycle. I forgot my sunglasses again. Always forgetting my sunglasses because I'm used to the weather sucking here. Stroller. Right behind me is where the Easter Bunny was last year, and we were freaking out. We're like, oh no, maybe he's not here. Well, there's a sign that says he's by Macy's today. Okay, final touch ups before we go see Easter Bunny. I saw this movie, and I did a thorough, really good review. If you want to see my review for this Beauty and the Beast movie, look below. I'm going to link the video. Okay. Oh yeah. Aww. Are you excited to see the Easter Bunny, Brooke? Yeah. We're next after that family. Alright, so based on the reaction so far, I think she'll be excited. She won't be nervous. But there is always that chance that as soon as she gets up there, then she's like, oh. So, how much do you want to bet that this guy just makes a lot of money? <laughs> Brooke, are you getting nervous? No. Are you sure? The bunny. The bunny, yeah. Easter bunny. Okay. No. Brooke, do you want to sit down? No. She's so nervous. Oh, no. I totally called it. Okay, so we finally got this shot. I'm sweating, look at all that. Oh my gosh. All right, so the sun is beating down on us and then also Brooke was like crawling up like on my head to get away from the Easter Bunny when I got close. Anyway, we got close enough and we got a good photo. We're just gonna pay for it now and then I'll put it right here. So this is how it turned out. She actually kind of smiled a little bit, that's good. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so we went to the Disney store afterwards. Now I'm gonna fulfill on all my other promises if she would take a picture with the Easter Bunny. So, I'm gonna go get ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. What's some ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. Thank you. I can open that. Yeah, I want to the waffle, and that'll be the pineapple. Alright, so were you, were you really scared of the Easter Bunny or were you just pretending to be scared so you could go to the Disney store and get ice cream out of us? I didn't understand any of that. I found my keys. Huh? I found my keys. Okay. Okay, so WrestleMania is on right now. I'm not gonna pay 60 or 70 bucks to watch it on pay-per-view, but I'm on USA Network because I was there last night, it was the last channel on, and there's like a WrestleMania match on right now. But I think it's just like the countdown to WrestleMania. It's kind of like, um, you know how UFC will do like a couple free matches on Spike TV or whatever network it is? FX, I don't know. It's one of those networks that will do like free matches and the pay-per-view is after the free matches on the pay-per-view channel. I think that's what's happening right now. I tried doing like a WrestleMania thing where I like, not WrestleMania, but WWE in general, where I like film a TV and I kept it on mute and I made like funny commentary. The second I tried to post that, it was all copyrighted, like immediately. You couldn't even post. Like it wasn't even an option to post and just have ads on your video, which is like you couldn't post it at all. So that's why I'm not filming the TV. But WrestleMania is on. Good luck to whoever's in it. I don't know any of the people anymore. It seems like no matter what, they always bring back the same guys from the past because the guys nowadays kind of suck. It's always like The Undertaker and Triple H and a bunch of other random people and then like John Cena. Like those are the only guys they really are like, okay, oh Brock Lesnar too. They brought back Goldberg who wasn't even in the WWE very long. I think he was more of a WCW guy. I don't know. But anyway, she's still tired. But... If she doesn't wake up soon, she won't fall asleep tonight on time. She did not like seeing the Easter Bunny. 
that close. When she was away from the Easter Bunny, fine. Up close, not so good. <laughs> Rob Gronkowski is in the front row, and this guy just took his beer and like drank a little bit and then threw the rest on him. And now Rob Gronkowski is getting out of the stands. Oh, and security's trying to stop him. Like, hey, get back in there. Get back in the crowd. I don't know if this is scripted or not, because sometimes it's scripted so that it's like, oh, yeah, okay, I can come in. And sometimes it's not. Oh, now security is just letting him go up in there. Yeah, this is totally scripted. Totally scripted. This is totally something that Gronk would do. Gronkowski just tackled some guy. They're totally treating this like real sports now. Like, there's like a panel of people above the stadium like, All right, that was great. Now, looking ahead in tonight's matchups, blah, blah, blah. It's like a panel of people like the NFL has for like halftime. It's crazy. What are we about to watch? Moana. Is that like your favorite Disney movie right now? Uh, Moana. Yeah. Did you like seeing the Easter Bunny today? Yeah. Yeah? Were you afraid of the Easter Bunny? No. No? The whole time you were not afraid at all? 